Hello and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to make a part 2 of my autumn crafts. I'm starting off by making some really simple and cute little candle sleeves. I sketched out these designs beforehand and I taped them onto some black cardboard and now I'm using my embossing tool to just kind of transfer the design onto the cardboard. So I'm just following all the lines that I drew to get the design onto the cardboard, but I'm only using outlines. So I don't kind of emboss like details and stuff. I just want to have a black outline of everything. Once I finish transferring all the stuff from the paper to the cupboard, I'm just using my X-Acto knife and carefully cutting out all around my design. Now the bottom design you saw, which is a uh, Zelda Majora's Mask inspired, I drew on my tablet and made it digital so that I can cut it out with my Cricut Maker because I felt like at the moment I don't have very steady hands with my knife, but if you have you can totally cut it out per hand, but I found this is easier for me to just make the second like this. Also this means I can uh, cut it out whenever I want to and maybe use it for something different as a cutout, like for a present card or something like that. 
after I cut out everything that I want to be cut out, I just used some normal glue stick and glued a designs onto this transparent foil paper. And this will let the light through really beautifully and let the designs that I made on the black cardboard really pop out. Then I just trim around all the edges to remove the excess and I have the basic sleeve for the candle. And next up I'm using a strip of the black cardboard and gluing it to one side of the candle sleeve, waiting for it to dry and after that I'm just gluing it on the other side of the candle sleeve to make the sleeve round and I'm using a round packaging to help me form the candle sleeve into a really round shape. And with that our candle sleeve is done and now let's go on to the second project. Now uh, I have these rings, these kind of metal wire rings that I found in our local craft store. Now you can use them for all kinds of things including dream catchers and stuff, but I decided to make a breath. Now I don't have any like living bending sticks and, and stuff in my garden as of the moment, so I decided to improvise and just basically fake it and use some leftover wires. These are just some scrap copper wires that I have in bulk, so I'm just wrapping them around and once I'm finished I just paint them with a coat of gesso and then I'm using a coat of dark brown paint and after that I'm doing a dry brush of light brown paint to make it look like kind of wood sticks or something like that which I later will hide with some dry leaves but I want the base to at least look kind of like real natural wood. I picked these flowers outside and I let them dry and I used some hair spray or you can also use some basic fixative to let them keep their color a little more or else they will lose the color and brown due to oxidization when they dry and after they dried I just cut them up into like little flower parts which I'm gluing on with some hot glue onto the breath. And in my case, I just make sure to cover one side of the ref with the flowers and to hide all of the brown wires. But if you don't want to hang it onto a flat wall or lay it down, you can also, of course, glue uh, flowers down on the other side of the ref. Just if you want it like to hang on the window or something like that where you see both sides. 
or if you attach flowers to the other side, you can also change up the designs for both sides. So depending on your mood, you can just turn the ref around. I found these wooden decals in my stash and I thought they would fit perfectly. Now you can of course use anything you want from acorns to anything you find outside uh, to also these wooden decals and stuff and you can of course paint them but I really like this natural look of them so I'm just using these flowers and leaves and the squirrel and put them wherever I want them to be on the ref with some hot glue. And with that we finished all of our autumn crafts. Now the design I chose for the candle sleeves are kind of spooky, which I chose because it's almost Halloween. So yeah, in this design you can see the moon from Majora's Mask over Clock Town and the other design are just free-handed with some spooky like gravestones on the bottom and the bed and the cauldron in the middle with the jack lanterns on the other side. Now it is important to note that you shouldn't put in candles directly. Open fires and paper don't mix well, so I would suggest you put your candle sleeves around a glass if you want to use real candles so that the fire can't touch the paper. Or if you want to be really safe, I would suggest you use some electrical candles. And this craft you can even do with scissors if you don't feel comfortable using an exacto knife. Like you can make the basic frame and then just make cutouts of the items you want to show through and just glue them onto the translucent paper. And it doesn't matter if it has like a connection to the outside rectangle as long as it fits. Uh, inside the rectangle and you can glue it onto the translucent paper, anything really goes design-wise. Now these sleeves you can really experiment with. You can make them bigger and use them for like lanterns to hang up and stuff. You can make them smaller, make them different shapes. And the idea behind using the cardboard with the translucent paper that lets any light who really is versatile. You can even use this as Christmas or spring decorations. Now this ref is really simple and you can of course use everything you want for decorating. For example, normally people might use real sticks to decorate it and just wrap them around with some wire and stuff. And of course also this works for any holiday you want it to work for. You can make an autumn themed ref like I did, you can make one for Christmas, one for spring, one for summertime, whichever one you like most. That being said, I would be really interested to hear from you guys which is your favorite holiday and which holiday you really really love to decorate for. In my case it's definitely autumn and Halloween. I love decorating for Halloween, so let me know in the comments down below. Anyway, that's everything. Bye!